We turn now to Hollywood, where the final preparations are being made for this week's Academy Awards. And while a record $10 billion was poured into the box office this year, up 10% over 2008, stars' salaries took a decided dip, even among the A-list. While there's no need to take up a collection, many stars now have a bigger stake than ever before in the success of the film itself. For Brian Rooney, that's a sign of the time. Give me a minute, Bert. When someone like Sandra Bullock is nominated for Best Actress, traditionally, it's also been a nomination for Best Paid Actress. Win the Oscar and name your price. But Bullock had to actually cut her price in half to get her part in The Blind Side. Stardom has lost some of its power. What had happened was, in Hollywood, there had been a, an overinflation of star salaries. Much like the housing market in the rest of the world, the price for stars for movies was overinflated. And over the last two years, much like the housing market, you've seen that bubble burst. It's hard to believe, but after its biggest box office year of all time, the movie business is in a recession because the once lucrative sales of DVDs to the home market have crashed. So you, you're you really seeing now the studios having to be more fiscally prudent, even though these movies are still breaking records at the box office. And really, Nothing. any excuse to bust the actors. The sweetest deals were what's called first dollar. The star took a low upfront salary in exchange for a percentage of every dollar the movie earned. Almost like the actor was taking money at the ticket window. You can call me Joker. Jack Nicholson made a fortune that way with Batman. My name's Forrest Gump. People call me Forrest Gump. Tom Hanks raked so it in with a first dollar deal on Forrest Gump. Some actors got rich even when the movie itself went broke. Now the big names have to take a lower flat salary or if they want to gamble, a deal known as Cash Break Zero, also known as CB Zero, in which they get a percentage of the take, but only after the studio has earned its money back. So George Clooney is believed to have taken a fraction of his usual salary to make no the $25 million dollar up in the air. But the movie has made $82 million, dollars, so he's likely to do very well, thank you. It helps to have a big name like Clooney's. Are you in need of thank any you, but I don't need any help. The veteran and familiar Ed Asner gave voice to the animated character in the Oscar-nominated Up, but he did it pretty much for basic scale and a percentage tip if the movie did well. Skip to the end. When I came to, to Hollywood in 1961, I could get eight, ten jobs a year as a freelancer, and uh, I was in Fat City. I, I, I felt I could raise a family uh, and, and be a middle-class citizen. You can't do that anymore. Sizzy. Also driving down actor salaries is the success of starless movies. For some of the biggest movies of last year, the star was the show itself. Avatar, mostly newcomers. Harry Potter and the Twilight series, no biggies there. And Transformers. Shia LaBeouf is popular, but not even the draw of the diminished Tom Cruise. The bottom line is the star is only worth the money you pay them. And the stars haven't been bringing them in. Well, you know, last year in 09, we had the biggest box office year ever, but most of the films were driven by the concept of the movie and not by the stars in them. Most of the big movies in 09 did not boast major stars. That makes it hard for actors to argue for more money. But don't feel sorry. Sandra Bullock made a deal for The Blind Side that could still make her $20 million. But less, maybe, than she might have on one of those first dollar deals. For moviegoers, though, this is all just part of stargazing. And none of it makes any difference to you and me. The, t the price of a ticket and the popcorn is never going down. No, that's right. I mean, we're always going to pay for that. And that, you know what? That's OK, because we're getting a lot out of it. I think people love going to the movies. But I think the day of the bloated star salary may be over. Poor Sandra Bullock. This is Brian Rooney for Nightline in Hollywood.